Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, as, as I said, you know, I'll just repeat. I mean, we, we 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 continue to be concerned about the human rights situation in Tibet, and about uh, religious freedom issues, uh, and about people's ability to be able to live a life that they that they want. Um, we had some very heated exchanges with Chinese government officials over a whole range of issues uh, involving Tibet, including uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Um, some were more heated than others. Uh, some drew a line in the sand. Some discussions, I felt there was an openness to some constructive dialogue. And I think that's how we come to this issue at this point, is that we're trying to, you know, we, we, can't, we, we went, we learned, we appreciate the opportunity to have uh, been granted the opportunity to visit. Um, and we, but we want to move beyond the past, and we want to see whether or not um, the Chinese government is willing to uh, engage in some constructive dialogue that can help promote reconciliation, that can help resolve some of the issues that have torn families apart for many, many years. Um, I can't tell you with certainty that the Chinese government will agree to do X, Y, and Z, uh, but um, I don't think any of us came away feeling that the door was entirely closed on anything. Uh, and so our challenge is to work with our colleagues in a bipartisan way to see what can be done. And we are hopeful. Uh, uh, and, um, and we're hopeful that, as I said, we could open up a consulate in Lhasa, Tibet, which I think would be a, an important step. We're hopeful that they'll allow others to go visit. And we're hopeful that they'll begin uh, you know, a more formal dialogue with His Holiness the Dalai Lama to resolve a whole range of issues. Well, and we are concerned about the uh, about the, the Uyghurs and, and about we talked about uh, some of the uh, lawyers who were arre arrested, some of the uh, women who were arrested for protesting and uh, passing out leaflets re involving uh, domestic violence. So we raised a whole range of human I rights issues that you know go beyond just the, the just Tibet, uh, and um, so the Chinese government knows that those issues are still very much of concern to all of us. Just I think it's. It, it's, it's fair to say that I think the Chinese government wanted to control as much of our visit to Tibet as they could. And we saw what they wanted us to see. We also saw things that they didn't want us to see. And I think what they didn't count on was the tenacity of Leader Pelosi, who wanted to visit religious sites, who wanted to visit monasteries, and who insisted and insisted and kind of wore some of these officials down so that we were able to see what we wanted to see as well. Uh, so. Um, I felt, I felt like we got a, 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 a wide uh, perspective of life in Tibet. Uh, and, um, and, you know, we, we, we went to the meetings that the Chinese government wanted us to go to. We also visited places that we thought were important uh, to uh, the Tibetan people, to our constituents, um, and to a lot of the people who have expressed concerns about human rights over the years. So uh, I think it was a, it was, I think it was a, a, I think we got a good exposure.